Hello everyone, my name is S. N. Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss how to find remainder when 15 raised to 27 is divided by 8 and 33 raised to 19 is divided by 7. So here we use two theorem. The first is Euler theorem. When we use Euler theorem, if an integer a is relatively prime to natural number, then a raised to phi n congruent to 1 modulo n and phi is a Euler function. Okay. So here in first problem, here the 8 is a natural number. Okay. And the 15 and 8 are relatively prime. Okay. Now in second problem, the divided by number is 7. That is the prime number. When, when this n is prime number, then we use Fermat theorem. The Fermat theorem is if p is a prime number and a is an integer such that the p is not divisible by a, then a raised to p minus 1 congruent to 1 modulo p. The Fermat is particular case of Euler's theorem when n is prime number. Okay. So first we solve the first problem. Now in the first problem we have a is equal to 15 a is equal to 15 and n is equal to 8. Okay. Now for Euler's theorem, the condition is a and n, a and n are relatively prime, means their GCD is 1. See here, the 15 and 8 are relatively prime. Okay. Now by Euler's theorem, by Euler's theorem, a raised to phi of n congruent to 1 modulo n. Okay. Now here first we calculate the phi n. The phi n is here phi of 8. What is phi n? The phi n is the number of positive integer less than n means less than 8 and relatively prime with 8. Okay. That is we find the number number which are relatively prime to 8. So we find the number that is uh, 1 and 8 are relatively prime. The next number is 2 and 8 not relatively prime. The next number is 3 and 8 are relatively prime. The next number is 4. The 4 and 8 not relatively prime. So we take next number 5 and 8 relatively prime. 6 and 8 not relatively prime. So next number is 7 and 8. They are relatively prime. So there are there are 4 number less than 8. And all are relatively prime to 8. That is, phi of 8 is equal to 4. Otherwise, we can use the formula here. If the number is 2 digit, 3 digit, then here we express the given number in a product of prime number. That is, P1 raised to N1 p2 raised to n2, p suffix k raised to n suffix k. Then we can find phi of n as a n into 1 minus 1 upon p1, 1 minus 1 upon p2 and so on into last 1 minus 1 upon 
P sub X. So here, uh, the eight, it can be expressed in a product of prime number as a two raised to three. Okay. So phi of eight, it can be written as eight into one minus one upon P one is simply two. That is the two. Now, 8 into 1 minus 1 by 2, that is 1 by 2, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay. Now, here we calculate phi of 8 is a 4. Now, we have the A is 15, that is 15 raised to 4, congruent to 1 modulo 8. Means 15 raised to 4, divide 8, then the remainder is 1. The question is 15 raised to 27, find the remainder when 15 raised to 27 divided by 8, then what is remainder? Okay. So here by Euler's theorem, we got 15 raised to 4, divide 8, then the remainder is 1. Okay, now we want the 15 raised to 27 power. Now here, the multiple of the 4, 15 raised to multiple of 4 is always congruent to 1 modulo 8. So we go up to less than 27 of the multiple of 4, that is the 15 raised to, raised to, 24 that is 4 into 6 congruent to 1 modulo 8 okay because the next number is 28 and we want the 27 okay now here we got 15 raised to 24 congruent to 1 modulo 8 and we want the here in problem 15 raised to 27 we required 15 raised to 3 power Okay, more. So we calculate uh, 15, 15, when we 15 divided by 8, 15 divided by 8, then the remainder is 7. Okay, that is 7 modulo 8. Okay, we want the 3 power. So we multiplied both sides by 15. That is 15 raised to 2. And here 15 into 7. That is 105. And 105. 105 divided by 8. That is here 1. Here 8. That is 2. And here. Here 24. The remainder is 1 here. Modulo 8. Now again multiplied both sides 15. That is 15 into 15 square. That is 15 raised to 3. Here 15. And we already calculate 15 is congruent to 7 modulo 8. Suppose this is equation 2. And the, this is the equation 1. By the properties of congruence. From 1 and 2. From 1 and 2. That is 15 raised to 24 into 15 raised to 3 is equal to is equal to the right hand side is 1 here and here 7 that is 1 into 7 modulo 8 so here basis same addition of indices that is 15 raised to 27 congruent to 7 modulo 8 okay it means when when 8 divide to 15 raised to 27 then remainder we get the 7 okay now the next problem is 33 raised to 19 is divided by 7 so here we use the format theorem what is the format theorem p is a prime number and a is an integer such that p is not div divisible by a. 
then a raised to p minus 1 congruent to 1 modulo p. So here the a is 33. A is so A is equal to 33. P is equal to 7 and 7 not divisible by 33. So by Fermat's theorem, A raised to P minus 1 congruent to 1 modulo P. Okay. Now here the A is 33. A is 33. P is 7 minus 1 congruent to 1 modulo 7. Okay. That is 33 raised to 6 congruent to 1 modulo 7. Okay. It means 33 raised to 6 divided by 7. Then we get remainder is 1. Now we want the 33 raised to 19. Then uh, we go the multiple of 6 number such that we uh, reach to the number up to 19 or less than 19 in the multiple of 6. So it can be written as 33 raised to 6 into 3 that is 18 33 raised to 18 divided by 7 we get the remainder is 1 modulo 7 say equation number 1 but we want the 33 raised to 19 so again calculate 33 when we divide the 33 by 7 okay then the remainder is 5 that is 33 congruent to 5 modulo 7. Say equation number 2. Now by properties of congruence from 1 and 2 that is 33 into 18 into 33 congruent to 1 into 5 modulo 7. Base is same addition of power that is 33 19 plus 1 sorry 18 plus 1 that is 19 and here 1 into 5 5 modulo 7 okay in this way we can find the remainder of the problem by using Euler's theorem and Fermat's theorem thank you thank you for watching